All right, Longhorns, welcome back to another video here on the Longhorn Learners YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you the two strategies that we use here at John F. Long to solve a division problem. Now, those two strategies are gonna be doing a picture and also skip counting. Okay, so our problem that we're gonna solve this morning is 15 divided by three. And in order to be able to solve this, we actually really have to understand what this division symbol means. Division is taking the total amount of objects and breaking that apart or dividing it into equal groups. So in this case, 15 is the total amount and we're going to divide that into three equal groups. So the picture is the easiest way to start and to do that picture all I'm going to do is draw three equal groups again using just circles like we modeled in the multiplication video that you can also check out on this channel. There's my three equal groups. Now I'm going to divide this 15 into those three equal groups. And the way that I'm gonna do this is by passing them out um, so that each group remains equal the whole time. So I'm gonna count up and pass out 15 um, little objects here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the, way, the reason we pass them out that way is because that way we ensure that the whole time every group maintains an equal amount. So now that we've passed out our 15 objects, we can figure out that inside each group there are going to be five objects, and that would be the answer to our division equation. 15 divided by three equals five. 15 objects broken into three equal groups means there will be five in each one, okay? And then the other strategy that we use is skip counting. This is going to be your fastest, most efficient strategy until you've memorized all of your math facts. And the way that we do this when we have a problem like 15 divided by 3 is that we skip count by the number 3 until we get to 15 and we stop and we see how many times we had to skip count. So if I do that, I would count by 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and I stop. So I can write that down. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Once I get to that number 15, I'm going to count up how many times I had to skip count. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there is my answer of 5. You'll notice that as I skip counted, I was singing the threes song. Your students have been learning that in class. There's also a playlist on this YouTube channel that has all of those skip counting videos so your kids can listen to those and practice them at home. Um, it makes it very easy to learn how to skip count by obscure numbers like three or sevens or eights or nines. Uh, you can also find those links in QR codes in your student's study guide for either multiplication or division. They'll be in both of those. So take a look at those. Um, but here you have it, the two strategies we teach to help your students learn how to divide. Um, practice those at home, use the study guide to help you. And until next time, keep learning, Longhorns.